a talent that comes around once in a lifetime. Messi's genius. He is Superman. He's won everything that the club game has to offer. From his humble beginnings to his emergence as a child prodigy in Argentina, we examine what makes this special player tick. Messi! We get the opinions from those who have been the best. In the generation, you have one. And in the moment, Messi is the best. To those who share the same pitch with him. Messi! Solo comparo con un asesino, un extraterrestre de una generación. Para mí, el mejor futbolista del de mundo. And we get answers to the ultimate question: Who's the best player of all time? Lionel Messi. Rosario, Argentina, the birthplace of Lionel Messi. At four years of age, it was already clear that there was something special about little Leo. Eh, me primero recuerdo de chico, ¿no? Ya de chiquito siempre empecé a jugar al fútbol en en la calle, en mi casa y para los cuatro o cinco años ya ya había empezado. El primer equipo fue en Grandolio, un club de barrio y bueno recuerdo muy lindo porque era era donde íbamos toda la familia, donde pasábamos los fines de semana ahí. La verdad que fueron lindos momentos. He was really, really small, but he stood out so quickly in that Grand Olive where his father, Jorge, occasionally coached, picked up on him. And despite the fact that Messi was very, very young, it was clear at Grand Olive that he was made for better things. After a few years, when it was obvious that, you know, he was only going to go so far coached by dad, he knew his old boys, the big level team from Rosario, took an interest. Even then, his ability to beat a man to do anarchic things was notable. It was quite obvious that he was a special talent and he was somebody who, uh, who the other clubs would be looking out for. And that was the point at which uh, River Plate, one of the two biggest clubs in Buenos Aires, saw him and decided that um, this was the guy they wanted to take. And just when his career was blossoming in Buenos Aires, this growth hormone deficit, which was never going to stop him growing to his current height, but was going to slow that process dramatically, that became identified. And initially, the club was willing to pay it, but Newell's couldn't afford it, River Plate weren't interested in affording it, and the Messi family certainly couldn't. After a very short burst of paying for these injections to help his growth, his natural growth, it was patently clear that there was a problem and nobody could solve it. Charlie Rexach had both played for and managed Barcelona. At the time, he was technical director and, through Barca's scouting system, was already aware of Messi's predicaments, but more importantly, his prodigious talent. He'd heard about Messi. I mean, many scouts had uh, through the network, checked him out and said, is there a way we can bring him to Europe? That was a brave decision. Normally they say if the kids can make a professional football or not, that. 11, 12 year old. Reshak and his colleagues had a, a good day. Bueno, yo llegué, jugaba en Newell y bueno, me vieron de allá y me trajeron a hacer una prueba de, de 15 días. Tuve 15 días aquí probando y me volví para Argentina. Lionel needed little more than 15 minutes to make an impression, however. Siempre tenía el balón él, era un en aquel momento no se le pasaba a nadie, la cogía, regateaba uno, dos, tres, cuatro, después la vino la perdía o la pasaba, pero un, un jugador diferente, un jugador que tiene una vida fuera de lo normal. The extraordinary story was that while Barcelona couldn't make up their mind about this extraordinary kid because he was so small, Jorge Messi, the father, was pretty much at the end of his patience. And he said to Charlie Rexach, we're going to go home unless you've got something of good faith. Entonces el padre dijo, bueno, mira, yo ya estoy harto de ir al club, o me arregláis esto o yo me voy porque a mí no, no me torean más, ¿no? Y entonces cuando yo, pues, buscó un papel para decirle, oye, esté tranquilo, que yo como director técnico le, le aseguro que ese chico firmará y para que esté tranquilo, yo que soy el director técnico le, le firmo un papel. Y entonces no había papel y lo típico, bueno, pues, ¿qué hay? Y entonces había una servilleta, que es esa famosa servilleta que yo pensaba que había desaparecido Después del primer contrato es cuando yo lo escribí que como director técnico me comprometí a firmar a aquel jugador y pam, 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 y bueno, y para que el padre estuviera un poco más tranquilo, la familia. 
Armed with his now famous napkin, Rexach would keep his word and Barcelona would sign Messi. The club financially supported Leo's growth hormone treatments. The Messis moved to Catalonia for Leo to begin life at La Masia, Barcelona's now famous youth academy. And Barca legend Johan Cruyff was the brains behind their youth system in which Lionel Messi and many others before him would eventually flourish. The main thing was that, uh, that, uh, that everybody in Spain thought that when you were small or thin, you couldn't play. And we said, hey, that's not true. Bienvenidos a la Masia del Fútbol Club Barcelona. De aquí os han, han sortido jugadores como en César Fábregas, como en Leo Messi. Y el seu gran somni de todos los jugadores que formen parte de la Masia del Fútbol Club Barcelona es arribar algún día a jugar aquí dins, al Nou Camp y sobre todo también al Fútbol Club Barcelona. Johan Cruyff is credited with bringing the Ajax youth development philosophy to Barcelona during his eight-year spell as their manager. And Cruyff's legacy lives on in the form of La Masia. The great bonus that Leo Messi inherited from Johan Cruyff without ever having met him or knowing him was that when Cruyff arrived at this club in 1988, he utterly reshaped football basi, which is the word for youth development football. La Masia is the place where the kids come from far away to stay, but the youth development system was taught that every age group plays with the same concepts, based on technique, based on touch, skill, and vision above height and power. He obviously came as a player and afterwards he, he was a manager and his whole ideas were also the ideas of uh, Rinus Mikkels, the idea of total football. The Dutch mentality is always go there and try it. And if it miss or you make a mistake, learn from your mistake. When you're smaller thin, you're going to develop a lot of things which a big one never can develop. Desde el estilo de Curif que implantó aquí hace años, pues han salido futbolistas más técnicos que, que físicos, ¿no? That is basically the idea that, that, that Cruyff sort of put on as his sort of trademark on, on Barcelona and, um, and Guardiola was obviously one of his younger stars when they won the European Cup for the first time at Wembley. And you can still see uh, the Cruyff influence. Uh, with Rijkaard extending that with uh, the vision and then of course Pep uh, the same philosophy, a technical football, pressing uh, early and always with an ID, football with an ID, playing with your brains. Pero, pero sí que es verdad que Messi en el Barça yo creo que ha aprendido mucho, aparte de todo el talento que tiene. No sé si fuera de, del Barça, Messi hubiera sido lo que es ahora Messi. The blueprint that Barcelona have is something that everybody is trying to, to copy. And it's been a great nurturing process for him as a talent. Still to come, Instantly it was clear that they were dealing with phenomenon. Whoever they're bringing on now, he's not as good as this guy. I don't care who's coming on, he's not as good as him. To see how similar the, the two incidents are is remarkable. Once in Spain, a young Messi struggled to adapt to his new way of life at La Masia. Not much footage exists of him at his very, very earliest days here. But instantly it was clear that they were dealing with a phenomenon. You can see this very skinny boy who's got immense skills and a clear eye for the game too, but whose stamina isn't great. Not because he wasn't fit, but because the growth hormone process, number one, the lack of normal growth, and number two, the process of his body changing with the injections, left him unable to do the full, his full repertoire during 90 minutes. Y me falta resistencia, velocidad, sí, me canso de vez en cuando. So you could see bursts of Leo Messi in the early days, but as his physical development and his stamina changed, the gifts, the vision, the brilliance, the explosiveness were already there, just waiting to be completely unrolled. <laughs> Although expressing himself on the pitch wasn't a problem, Messi was finding it hard to integrate. Sí, porque cuando cuando vino con 14 años pensaba que era medio que era mudo, eh. Pero la verdad es que ahora mismo no es ni mudo ni fuera ni dentro del campo. Dentro del campo habla más que nadie. Says Fabregas always says they couldn't get a word out of him. There's a young boy here that's come from Argentina to going into Spain, you know, to, to, to literally 
be brought up in a completely different environment and it can affect you. It can't have been easy for him. Despite his shyness, it would only be a matter of time before Rexach's initial instinct about Messi would be proven to be correct. The expression that's used here is that he vaulted the team. Messi's promise was now beyond dispute and it was only a matter of time before Barca offered him a professional contract. Sí, bueno, hace un, unos semanas atrás me llamaron y me dijeron que me iban a ser profesional y que tenía que afirmar. Y la verdad que es un, una alegría enorme. But not all were convinced of Messi's ability. I had lunch with, uh, with Rijkaard. I told him, like, I saw that boy Messi, but he didn't really impress me. But I think you saw the quality, some flashes, but he needs to play a little bit more like this. I said, uh, I was discussing that with Frank, and Frank told me, like, his instincts are incredible, I, he said, because I saw that uh, in, the, in the training and he can do things that nobody can, he said uh, to me. So uh, we mustn't put too much uh, things in his mind, just let him go. And I must say, Frank saw it quite well I must say. <laughs> Fue el quien que me dio la oportunidad de debutar con el Barcelona, que me dio su confianza cuando yo tenía 16 y 17 años, eh, el quien apostó por mí, que me dio todo y creo que gracias a él conseguí todo lo que lo que conseguí, estoy muy agradecido por eso. And young Leo was quick to show the Dutchman his gratitude. When he's made his scoring debut here at the Camp Nou, it was against a team called Albathetti. There was no time left when he was brought on as a substitute, perhaps about three minutes. Instantly made an impact, made a chance. Then Ronaldinho, the guy who ruled, the world player of the year, just an extraordinary talent, already knew Messi was a genius. And instead of hogging the ball, gave it to him with a lovely pass. First touch, Messi volleys it over the keeper. Goal. The linesman puts up his flag completely wrongly and rules out this gorgeous debut goal. What did it take him? About another 90 seconds when Ronaldinho picks the ball up again, flicks it to him, and in the identical position, Leo Messi, fully onside this time, chips the keeper again, and the stadium goes absolutely wild. It was amazing because he was 17, and the degree of uh, maturity that he shown on touching the ball, you know, above the, the goalkeeper once, not first, he was offside. But then secondly, he did it again. It was amazing, not that this means... Uh, Amazing quality, you know, on his feet, but also amazing uh, character, no, and self-confidence. Messi began to make an impact domestically and scored his first Champions League goal against Panathinaikos. Then, when Barcelona were drawn against Chelsea in the Champions League in 2006, the British public would get its first opportunity to see this special talent in action. Messi helped run the game. Ronaldinho was in his pomp. Eto scored a great goal. But if you look at the youth and still the physical slightness of that boy, this was an announcement that an enormous footballer was born on the world stage. It happened to be in Britain. It was a, it was a huge introduction to British fans about Leo Messi's talent. But it wasn't just opening the curtain and saying, here's a potential star. That was him stamping on the floor of the stage and saying, get ready, this is my territory now. Can Messi torment and tease Chelsea as he did a fortnight ago? Messi's influence in the return leg was cut short, however. He came off injured after just 25 minutes. Well, this doesn't look too good for Lionel Messi. Well, so much was said about Messi after the first game, and he's going to play very little part in this second game. Barca would get the better of Chelsea and eventually.